Hi, Rob Grimes with the IFBTA, and it's my pleasure to be with Ricardo Gonzalez, who is the Managing Director globally of Hospitality and Food Service for Softtech. So welcome, and welcome as a industry partner of the IFBTA. Thank you so much for having us here. So with your experience uh, in the industry working with the customers and also your experience working with other customers, what do you think are the, are the few key things that are going to drive the industry, the key initiatives that will drive the industry in the next few years mm -hmm. that the industry is telling you they need? And then what are the ones that soft tech is saying that they need to focus on? Obviously, everything related to uh, mobile ordering or mm -hmm. online ordering, I think that's, that you, we just seen the beginning. Mm -hmm. Even things that before um, you, you didn't think about actually ask for delivery, now are implementing the delivery. And hamburgers was one of them because obviously it's not the same when you order right, right there and it gets to, if it takes 10 or 15 minutes mm -hmm. to get to your place, I think it, the, the experience is different, right. right? So, but I think companies are gonna figure out how to do that. Uh, the other piece, and I mentioned that before, customers that really understand the case life cycle and the data that goes along that and how to provide those delighters to the customers are gonna succeed. And, and, and the other issue is how, especially for the established brands, right? Mm -hmm. The problem is they have all that legacy, which is a benefit, but it also could be a way for them to transform quickly, right? So, right. so it's one thing for soft tech to learn from the customer. Mm -hmm. Got that. It, it, whether it's in this industry or another industry, I, sure. I get that. What is the, you know, you have a chief technologist mm -hmm. in your company. Sure. Mm -hmm. So what have they said that we as a company, soft tech, need to focus on that will be a major thing to our customers, whether they realize it yet or not? Mm -hmm. I think w one of the things that uh, we're exploring right now is uh, the concept of restaurant, restaurant in a box, right? So being able to do set up of the new facilities in no time and having the ability to have that operational every, all the time. So when you say in no time, because we're also seeing now pop-up restaurants too, right? Which yeah. are overnight, mm -hmm. no time, right? Um, when you say no time and, and restaurant in a box, you know, what do you think that that's going to do to the industry to get a unit set up and, and going you know, time-wise? I, I know, I, I think if, if, if you can cut in half that, that the time that it takes, mm -hmm. you, you're definitely uh, ahead of the game. And right? probably the cost as well. The cost as well. And then what you have to realize is that people that are in the restaurant, they know how to do the sandwich or the hamburger, right. but they don't know technology. So every time they have an issue- And that's why they should partner with you because you understand the technology piece. You're bringing new technologies mm -hmm. to the field. Mm -hmm. You're bringing expertise from other industries. And then even so, your company has a 36 year track record you know, of understanding how to partner and work with people as well. Co correct, yeah. Well, great. So last question for you, you know, uh, about a year ago actually, uh, uh, we first met uh, at one of the IFBTA uh -huh. functions, sure. and uh, you guys have become one of our uh, global industry partners and actually one of the first in the outsourced services area. Um, why the IFBTA? Why did you choose to make that investment? Because I think it's one of the first investments you've actually made you know, in the industry directly. Correct. I, I think we have seen the value of uh, investing in uh, industry-specific uh, relationships, and when we analyze uh, the work that you guys are doing and the forum that you provide not only for uh, companies like us, but also for the, the, the operators as well, we saw uh, that it was, there, there is a value behind that. And putting, and, and, and the monthly sessions and the, or the week or the quarterly sessions that we have the opportunity to share those best practices, I think is very unique. Because, I mean, r reality is we, we not only learn from what we do internally, but we learn a lot from, from different customers, even, the, even from customers that we don't work with, right? Because benchmarking is, is, is a key part. And, and I think you guys come from, from that industry, you've been in that, you know the business, and that really helped us as well. And now I think, I believe you guys put together a lot of material in, in terms of helping to provide training and and understanding the industry, and I think that has a lot of value. 
Well, we are very pleased to have SoftTech and to have you and your team uh, be a global industry partner of ours. And, um, you know, we really look forward to continuing the discussion with you and uh, making sure that, it, that in the future it's not the best kept secret, you know, but yeah. it's the, the best kept what announcement and, uh, <laughs> and uh, cheer yeah. you know, out there. Uh, but we're very pleased to have uh, you and uh, SoftTech be a part of the IFBTA and for you joining us uh, today. No, we, we are glad to be part of this Great. organization. Well, thank you very much. And, thank you. and on behalf of the IFBTA, we're very pleased to have uh, Ricardo and SoftTech uh, with us and joining us here today.